In our previous videos, we have prepared ETAP's model of a 10 stories building. In this video, we will design our raft foundation using Safe software. Link to download ETAP's model of 10 stories building is attached in the description below. Subscribe our channel for more videos. After performing analysis, click on File then Export. Now click on Story as Safe File. Keep Export Story as Base. Select Option Export Floor Load and Loads from above. Now select Load Cases to Export. We will choose All. Now select Load Combinations to Export and choose All. Click OK to export data. Choose Path to Export and click on Save. Now we will open Safe Software. Click on File then click on Import. Click on Safe F2K File. Choose the file we exported earlier. Click on Open. We can see all the grids are imported. Click on Display Options. Uncheck Invisible Option in Points. We can see all the base points. Right-click on one of the point. Click on Loads. We can see all the reactions in each load case and column dimensions. Now we will go to Define tab. Click on Materials. Click on Add New Material to define new material. We will click on Modify for 1000 PSI. We will make sure all the parameters are correct. Now we will define Raft section. Click on Slab Properties. Click on Add New Property. Change name to Raft. Change type to mat. We can choose footing if we want to make isolated footing. Change thickness to 36 inches. Click on Draw tab. Now click on Draw Rectangular Slab. Click on Corner Points to draw a raft. We can right-click on Raft to view properties. Now if we want to expand the Raft outside, click on Raft then go to Edit tab. Go to Edit Areas then click on Expand Area. Type 36 to expand Raft 36 inches all around. Our Raft has been extended 36 inches in all directions. Now we will define Soil Subgrade Properties. Click on Add New Property. Change name to 1TSF. In subgrade modulus put bearing capacity. And multiply with factor of safety. We will multiply 2000 to 104 with 12 and then with 3. This is the subgrade modulus of 1TSF. Now we will assign this soil subgrade property to our raft. Select Raft then click on Assign tab. Click on Support Data. Select 1TSF then press OK. We have assigned soil subgrade property to our raft. Now go to Define tab and click on Combinations. We will add Service Load Combination. To check bearing capacity of raft, now we will add the load cases without factors. Now our model is ready go to Run tab then click on Run Analysis and Design. Analysis is ready. Go to Display tab then click on Show Reaction Forces. Choose Service Load Combination. Now choose Display Contour on Undeformed Shape. We can see Soil Pressure Contours on Raft. If we hover our pointer on raft, we can see the pressure values. We will make sure pressure on raft does not exceed our bearing capacity. 
Here at Edge Pressure is more than bearing capacity. We need to expand our raft. Unlock the model and then select Raft. Now go to Edit tab then click on Edit Area. Then click on Expand Shrink Area. Put 6 to expand raft 6 inches in all directions. Now run Analysis again to view bearing pressures. Now we can see the pressure on raft has reduced. Now we'll check punching shear capacity at each column location. Go to display and click on show punching shear design. We can see punching shear capacity ratio has been displayed on raft for all the columns. If we right click on the plus sign, we can view the calculations of punching shear capacity. We can reduce the foundation thickness and lock the model. Now go to Define and click on Slab Properties. Modify a raft section and change the thickness to 24 inches. Now click on Run Analysis and Design. Click on this button to view the punching shear capacity ratio. We can see that punching capacity ratios are still less than 1. The highest value is 0.8. Let's view the calculations of this point. We can review design here. Now we will check the reinforcement design of the raft. Go to Display tab then click on Show Slab Design. Choose Finite Element Base Design. Now click on Direction 1 Bottom Rebar. Here at the raft we can see the reinforcement required. At different locations, we will provide reinforcement under the columns as required. Similarly, we can view the reinforcement required in other direction. Now let's click on direction one top rebar. This is the reinforcement required between columns at top of raft. Similarly, we can view the reinforcement required in other direction. We will make structural drawings of the raft foundation. Providing this required reinforcement, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe our channel to view more exciting videos. Thanks for watching.